our two boys, they drive now, which is scary. In Southern California, it's so scary to turn them loose on the road. And uh, uh, when my oldest son started driving, uh, he was driving my old car. And I was up in Seattle doing some shows, and he called me at 7 a.m. on a Friday morning. I don't know what you know about teenagers, but that's never a good phone call. <laughs> they, they're never calling to be like, Dad, I just miss you so much. I want to give you a call early this morning and see how your night was last night. He called and goes, Dad, the car broke down on the freeway this morning. I was driving and started making this noise, like chunk, chunk, chunk. And then it started smoking, and I got it pulled over to the side of the road, and then it stopped, and I couldn't get it started again. What does that sound like to you? I was like, I'm not a mechanic, but that does sound like you need a job to me. That's what that sounds like. Did they get a job like, come on on the dashboard at any point, you freeloading bastard, did that happen? <laughs> The thing is, he already knows what job he wants. Both of my boys do. Same thing. They want to be magicians for a living. That's what they want to do. Some of you are jealous because you're going to have doctors and lawyers, and I've got Siegfried and Roy at home. 